The president of the Ghana Institution of Freight Forwarders, Edward Akron, who uh, is joining us on the telephone line to, uh, to talk about some challenges and with the implementation of the uh, paperless sport. He's joining us on the phone now. Uh, good afternoon, sir, and thanks very much for your time. Right, uh, we'll be getting to him pretty shortly. This is uh, Midday Live. So, uh, good afternoon, sir. Thanks very much for your time. So, uh, I want to find out whether imports are being cleared using the new customs management systems at the entry uh, points as has been directed. Okay, so there are only two entry points that are affected in this whole situation right now. I mean, the others that were mentioned basically are not using the technology that we're employing right now. So for the two, that is a Lubo and a flower. I can confirm to you that we are still using the old system, the, the gigs, as we have it run by GCNet and the path run by Westview. Mm, so so uh, I, before I, I, I proceed, I want to find out really the difference between this new system, the unit pass, and the existing one uh, which you're talking about. Uh, how different are they? It would be very difficult for me to tell because we have actually not tried and tested okay. this new system for me to tell you how it works. Okay, So our beef is that we have an existing system and we're comfortable with it. If you want to bring in a new system, well, we hear it says a superior system. Let us do this properly and roll on properly. Our immediate problem now is that two of the stations who were asked to roll on onto the new system in, you know, by first March, have actually not been trained to do so. Mm. And so the system is not in place there to be utilized. So that that is what created a bit of trepidation because... I mean, what is there to use? As I speak to you now, Unipass has just arrived in the Lubo, and they are registering our members, as I speak to you, mm -hmm. to start training tomorrow. So, right. of course, you see where I'm coming from. Yeah, I, mean, I see. Well, I see. But, but, but you, met, you met the deputy, you, you met a deputy so, finance... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bit baffling. You met the deputy finance minister over the same issue prior to uh, today. I want to find out how he uh, responded to these concerns that you are raising. Exactly. The reason for the meeting was that we are actually waiting to the Commissioner of Customs for, to at least those steps, you know, we all go. So we wrote to him that we, we had an issue with the way, you know, things were being run, the training sessions, the sensitization and all that. And we thought it wasn't going to be effective for this thing to run. So we wanted to meet him, sit down with him, tell him the problems he had and whether they could revise their notes. So the deputy minister decided to meet us in, you know, in turn. And then so we sat down and told him our problems. He accepted what we had. And then they told us how they were going to do this going forward. Right. We right. actually asked for a specific rule of date, and we were not giving that because he did not have the rule of date. Okay. Right. So we find we we're just going through all the motions now because there are a lot of things that have to be done. There have to be transitions done, stress tests done on the system to see if it can withstand all the you know uh, uh, the push that's going to come to it. And then suddenly we get a letter on Thursday saying that all these stations with the men, and I'm saying I wasn't worried about all of them, but for two because those two employ the technology as we use them now, and that we thought was going to be trouble. And as I speak to you, that was not able to be done. So, right. I mean, as, as I speak to you, we're still using the old system. Right. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm telling uh, you, for the training even hasn't started for, you know, a little Right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, that's uh, concerns that were being raised by freight forwarders over the implementation of the new customs uh, management system, which is popularly uh, known as Unipass. This is Midday Live from our studios at Adisawe Kanda.